Um, giving all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Yakra Kwadash. Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. And I'm going to entitle this video Thou art weighed in the balance and art found wanting. Now think of this as. James Earl Jones reading these precepts. He just went into the spiritual world, world so he knows he's an Israelite, he's good. It's not, not going to burn in hell forever. He's in the spiritual realm and he'll come back to the kingdom. Uh, so, and, and he started off as a poor man born in a family that was sharecropping, so they were poor, they were pretty much slaves. And it was the Edomite that gave him his inspiration, you know, showed him how not to stutter and he became this great actor I'd almost met him I seen him one time I was he was in front of a hotel and I seen him I was doing deliveries in Manhattan I mean I wasn't close enough to say something to him but I saw him big big brother <laughs> you know but he's good now he knows he's an Israelite he knows he knows his wife is an Edomite unless she's a Jake you know he knows that uh he he he's being introduced to all of the saints the angels up there so, so um anyway so the title as you can see here is thou art weighed in the balance and art found wanting let me do this let me look at this in the nlt and this is over uh Uh, General Nathaniel. He's not. He's not looking good right about now. And his men really can't help him. You know, he's full of pride, and his men are full of pride. And this is a wake-up call to you guys. If I'm going going off. I would want the men around me to correct me. Look, you're going off, man. Yeah, but I'm your leader. You, you ain't the leader now. You're going off. You got to get back in balance. And Bishop Nathaniel's out of balance. Out of He's out of whack. And he breaks down scriptures wrong. He gets a lot of them right, but he breaks the main one. He break main ones. He breaks down them wrong. He keeps that pride makes him keep pushing the. The MOTB, either either it's pride or it's money. One or the other. Either way, the Most High is not with what you're doing, and he's, you know, he might take you out. Most High can take you out, man. You ain't above the Most High. You ain't above the, the Messiah. And um, you know your men, you know you really don't have any friends. Because a friend will tell you that you're going, you're effing up. Them guys just blindly follow you. Whatever wacky breakdown you come out, come up with, you, uh, your, pe your people just follow. Oh, new moon is a full moon. Now, you know, no Israelite group teaches the new moon is a full moon. No Christian scholar, no scholar teaches that the new moon is a full moon. But here you, but here the most high endowed you with power from on high to see that MOTB you got it wrong and General Yohanna got it wrong and if uh, Captain Desariak want to jump up you got it wrong too make it you and C Captain Katazak joking talking about our, uh, the leader the true leader of uh, <laughs> the true leader and I don't get mad y'all could you know, they'll, they'll, they'll Captain Zari, Desari, I could say things about GMS, but won't mention GMS. And we know it's talking about GMS. You can mention GMS. We don't, we don't get offended. We don't get offended. Okay. And you know, I perceive it that you have a certain amount of respect for us. That's why you kind of don't come straight. You come, you come straight. GMS is a bunch of niggas and you know, you come like that. We, we're not going to get offended. 
Okay? Hey, if I seen you, Captain Desire, I'd say, hey, Shalom, what's up? Shalom. <clears throat> if we can start talking about the scriptures, I'm going to tell you, you're wrong on this, and you're wrong on that, and you're right on this, and you're right on that. You guys are wrong on the MOTB. And there's m many things that are, but, 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 uh, General Nate, he's wrong on it. He, he constantly goes, he comes up with new shit, you know? And he's trying to justify that the, the Revelation 13 and 16 stuff with, you know, giving you Job 10 and, and, and uh, Job 10 and 14. That's nothing. <clears throat> <clears throat> Job 10 and 14 has absolutely nothing to do with Revelation 13, 16, and 17, or Revelation 13 and 16. Because you look at the word Mark, M A R K. Oh, you got Mark and Revelation, and you got Mark and Job. So it must mean the same. No. The word Mark, if you would go to the blue letter, since you get on us about at ah, a blue letter, the blue letter saved your ass. The, the blue letter, the most I put the spirit on these people to put to put the, uh, and some of them, I believe, are Israelites that are, uh, you know, involved with the blue letter. The blue letter was was set up for us because we used to go to the concordance and we used to go to the libraries. Now it's right there. You don't got to go to the strong concordance or the uh, Ben Yehudi Hebrew, English, English Hebrew Dictionary. And then look through them pages with a pair of gla magnifying glass on, glasses, or uh, a glass. Now you just go to the blue letter. And then we found out through the Spirit that there's certain, uh, there's, there's certain de definitions that you go to a scriptures in the blue letter where they break it down wrong. And we know the difference. You say, oh, they went off on that. Like, for example, the name Jesus, they say it's uh, Yahweh Shawai, which is wrong. And then they say um, Jesus' names mean Yahweh save. It does not. The angel said he save. He save. He said you, call, you should call his name he save or he delivered in the Hebrew. How do you say he delivered in the Hebrew? Yah Hawashai. Hawashai means delivered. Okay? Anyway, anyway. So let me go into this. Daniel, this is from Daniel 5 verse 27. You have been weighed in the balance. And have not measured up. You have not measured up. You're getting up on the horse. And big thing now is you on the horse. And um, uh, Deacon uh, Asaph is trying to just No, we wish we was all on horses. But we couldn't be on horses because we're bums. And the scriptures tell you, you tell people to teach the law. Part of the law is helping the poor. So if we're, we're, we're bums, we're poor, you're supposed to say, you know what? I'm going I'm to get these guys a check. And don't say, well, Tahar's using, you know, uh, you know, he's being, what's the word? Uh, he, he's being psychological with it. He's trying to make me feel guilty so I can give him a check. You don't got to give a shit. You can give it to the poor. You can give it to other camps. Okay. <clears throat> like I said in previous videos, that if John the Baptist came to you, came around you, you would kick him out. You would tell you, so what the hell are you doing? This guy looked like a member of the GMS. If John the Baptist was there on this earth, what camp would he be in? He'd be in GMS. All right? So anyway, it says, this is an NLT. Just I read it in the... Uh, KJV you have been you have been weighed in the balance and have not measured up and your followers they blindly follow you and that's not a good thing like I said they're not your friends they're not your friends they're your blind followers This interpretation, the most I have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Thou art weighed in the balance and art found wanting. Just look up the word wanting. Look 
the word is uh, kasayar, which means lacking, wanting, deficient. There's a um, an element <coughs> called uh, scurvy. You had a lot of Edomites on ships. They would get scurvy and die. Then somebody figured out if you eat a lemon, which is vitamin C, pure vitamin C, that it 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 uh, scurvy is a, a vitamin deficiency. And there's people that are actually dying because they would get scurvy. And um, the term limey, when they would call ship goers back in the day, limeys, the reason why they call them limeys, because they had either, they mostly had limes on them. So if they felt they would suck on the lime, in order for them to, uh, you know, get rid of the scurvy, which is nothing but a vitamin C deficiency. People people die from various deficiencies. You know, you take one particular vitamin. You can you can say I'm not eating this one particular vi vitamin. It can make you can you can you can drop dead from this one pill, not having this one pill. So now let's go to the root of the word. So, you know, Bishop Nate, and not just Bishop Nate, but uh, all you other guys teaching these cra crazy doctrines. That includes you. A B O W, believers of the way. Apostle Gabar said in the video, about twelve minute video, short video. Um, I forget the exact title. He said I should not be saying this, but I'm gonna say this. And uh, he was saying to B O W, believers of the way. Do you, you can't believe you can't believe if you don't know the way. You don't know the whole way. You're gonna get lost. He said, watch the GMS videos and um. Watch them uh, intent uh, attentively. And watch them with an open ear, because you guys saying the mark of the beast is uh, something other than what we say. You're clearly going off. But if you got pride in, you're gonna come back. Look, if you came in this thing, <clears throat> well, you started with True Nation. I believe they started with <clears throat> they originally the original people. I believe from One West. It said to lack, uh, be without, decrease, be lacking, have have a need. You have a need to get it right, uh, uh, General Nate. To lack, to be lacking, to diminish, decrease, to cause a lack, to cause to lack, to cause to be lacking. Be, bereave or bereft, bereave, lack, made lower decreased fail want you want and need something so as long as uh general nate nathaniel nathaniel as long as you go off on them scriptures the most high is not with you satan's with you You, and the reason why you're not going to get this because you lack humility. I did a video on the meeting that y'all had with uh, with um, BOW and uh, IUIC and you had uh, Deacon Malachi uh, you also had uh, well they were all deacons, Deacon Abba Yel, Abba Yael, which changed his name to Abba Yel, and uh, Deacon Asaph. Now, Apostle Ramla said he saw pride in all of them. I didn't see pride in Malachi. I, I see, I see, I seen kind of. He 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 didn't want to do that. You know, he was going along with the with the with the plan or whatever, and that's why he got off. I perceive, because he he didn't want to. He I didn't see really pride. I seen him trying to look proud, proud, but it wasn't coming through. But I definitely saw pride in um, Deacon Asaph and Deacon um, 
Abba, Abba yell. I saw a pride in their, in their faces. You know? I didn't so much see it in Malachi. Maybe you got to look at it again. And um, the guy from the BOW, they apologized to take it down. They said, we, well, we ain't taking down nothing. And, um, okay, you apologize, but we, you know, we it's still, you messed up a lot, and there's a lot more you got to do. I said, that's pride, man. The scriptures speak about, Yahweh and Matthew 23 speak about they neglect, in not so many words, the, the weightier matters of the law, um, judgment, mercy, mercy, and faith. So you got to apply mercy sometimes. A guy might have did something wrong. You bring him to counsel, and he said, oh, I was wrong, brother. I was then the, the counsel's over. He, he you know. He said oh, he was wrong. Okay, the council's over. He said he acknowledged that he was wrong. He said, no, you got to do something deeper. Ah. And y'all were sitting up there like them, you know, you guys would be, if they made a movie about the scribes and the Pharisees and the Messiah, you guys would be the perfect guys to play that role. You fill up with pride. And that pride comes from money, status. You know, they got that. We came in deep. We came in deep. So anyway, so this has recently come up about uh, Bishop Nathaniel coming in on the horse, and everybody got on him about that, man. And um, he had uh, Deacon Asaph's, you know, no, I wish we were all on horses. Okay, well, my thing would have been, I want to get come in on the horse, but I ain't going to come in unless all of y'all come on the horse. So until we... Most high bless us that we all come in horses, we come in on horses. All right? Now, that was a thing to exalt himself. It said, the scriptures say, they that exalt himself shall be what? A base. And this guy's got a track record. General Netanyahu Alaga has a track record. The first one was with the Cornelius thing. He was with a bunch of other wicked niggas that all them niggas fell out the truth. All them, remember, all them guys, you know, well, Dun uh, uh, Priest Bun Lawyer was there. You know, he, he we were cool with him. You know, years later, because he used to come down to camp on 34th. He had the camp on Fridays on 34th and 7th. And he would come, he'd come out to our camp and hang out in the camp. And then even uh, Priest Dun, uh, Dunyala came out you know, because they were always cool with each other. And um, so they still, you know, of course, Dun, Bun, Bun Loy is in the spiritual world, so he's good. He's, he's fucking good, you know. Priest Dunya Allah, he, uh, you know, he's doing his thing. He should do more, though. As I said in the previous video, you should be doing videos every day. You got too much knowledge in you to 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 not be doing doing videos. You got too much in you, bro, bro. What does the Luke what does Luke ten say? Starting from the first verse. Something to the effect that the field is ripe ripe to harvest. But there's a lack of laborers, I'm merely paraphrasing uh, Luke chapter ten. The harvest is ready. We're in the harvest. The harvest is when you pick, you know, when you the the the, the wheat is growing up, and you and you got the pickers. The pickers are the ones that go out and push this word out. So, are you working on the farm? You don't work three days a week. That farm's gonna go under. You gotta you gotta be out there every day. And Sundays, you can chill, according to Esau's American biblical Christianity. This, that's this Sabbath, which they're off on. And no, not one scholar can tell me that Sunday is the Sabbath. Hell, Saturday's not, Friday sundown is Saturday sundown not the Sabbath, which you going off on, Bishop Nate. You 
You go, well, if you go to uh, Psalms 81 and 3, you ain't reading it right. It says, blow up the trumpet in the new moon. That's one thought. The second thought is new, uh, full moon. So there's two times you blow up the trumpet, the new moon and the full, full moon on our solemn feast day. Not for solemn feast days. So what day is that? Scholars say it's either the Passover or the, or the uh, tabernacles, which come, come in on the fifth, 14th day at evening. And we know that the the new moon the, the new moon you don't keep the Passover. You keep it on the fourteen days after the new moon. Which is the full moon. That's simple. That's simple. So anyway, I got a list of precepts. I got a big list of precepts. So you know these are oh. Let's go back to 126 let's go back to the split the split was wickedness you went y'all guys wanted to do your own thing and you wanted to use King Masha but you don't acknowledge him as being a king as uh, to get the people to follow y'all because if y'all would have left on your own three, three four people would have followed y'all and um, after y'all kicked us out, and that was a wicked count. That was a demon. We saw the demons on your faces. Yeah, you got it. The punishment is you don't teach your Monday night class, and uh, and they were they, they were happy that we that we were going down. We were, we were humble, you know. We even said, oh, we even said, uh, you know, hey, the scriptures speak about unreasonable men you guys are unreasonable back then and you unreasonable now we said oh we won't teach it no more yeah but is it in your mind that's that 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 demonic spirit that's why all them guys bishop that's why all them guys in that room the uh, connecticut brother from connecticut one of them dropped dead that fucking asshole Knock, knock, worse neck. He's fucking dead. He's in the spiritual realm. Uh, the only ones that still still around that was in that room was Apostle Gabar, yourself, uh, Apostle Rakar, Apostle Ramlab, the uh, the bishops, which they they apostles too. Cause they were sent out and then some of them fell off but the more the majority of them stayed in so the rest of them guys in the room they went back into the world <clears throat> like i said i mentioned i don't know if priest Daniela was there that night i don't know if yawasat was there that night if he was he's still there but guys like uh, 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 Yasha, Rahab, uh, Tazadak. What's this guy? Tazadak, we call him Zombie Mind. I never liked that crispy motherfucker anyway. Never liked his ass. He came by the a demon, demonic nigga, man. He came by the 34, he was walking by the 34th Street camp years ago, and when he saw us, he ran. He fucking ran down the street. And why did he run? Because of guilt. And he's probably dead right now. And I hate it, I couldn't stand his wife either, another demon. <laughs> that's it. That's the guy that had his son that cried like a hamite. We said, yo, brother, you sure your woman didn't step out with a hamite? The little kid looked like a hamite. He cried like a hamite. If y'all are laughing like I'm, ju ju I'm not joking. If you was there, you said this guy, this little motherfucker's a hamite. Ain't, ain't no Jake baby cry like that. 
<laughs> Even Vocab had to make a joke a joke about it. And Vocab really loves us. He wishes he could be an Israelite. He can be in the camp holding posts. Anyway, so those guys, they all fell out. And y- y'all were reservoir dogs. Hold up, let me do something. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is that video. Yeah, hatred unseen. Yeah, hatred unseen is the is the hatred that you have that you don't see because you don't look in the mirror. for it to come up Your hatred unseen. Let me do this. IUIC exposed. IUIC exposed. Bear me for a minute.
Anyway, there's a video where he showed all these guys that they broke off from Mo, Ma, King Masha, and so forth. But, uh, okay, it's coming up. I don't know why Sakaru came up. Okay, it's coming up now. I'm sorry, this is not it. That's not what I want. Um, riding a colt, riding a colt to hell. That's not the one I want. And this was the sister that was a uh, part of it. She got all caught up in that pageant, pageantry and all this stuff. This is not the one I want. Good things come to those who wait. Come on, man. It says, if, if the blind lead the blind, they shall both fall into a ditch. They're teaching that uh, the uh, MOTB is not, you know, is, is not uh, micro C hip. And if they if they follow them up to that point, they are going to be. There's an actual, uh, oh, this it was a guy that laid, and, and uh, oh, this is a guy that killed, uh, what's her name, uh, Joy Morgan, but I'm not going to blame that on, um, IUIC, because it was, it was him that did it, you know, they didn't go tell him, go out and kill some girl. Oh, he stepped down, because of what he did over the pocket. But they let him back in, gave him his rank. And he's a special kind of evil. And he knows it. He knows he's evil. That's all you're going to get. Maybe this this uh, YouTube page was taken down. Just bear with me. I know y'all. This guy's a demon.
But anyway, if that ain't pride, I don't know what pride is. Got the hairdo. He got the royal garment. Anyway, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into the precepts now. It says at the top, be humble. Ex, uh, Ecclesiasticus 10 verse 2. I'm sorry. Wrong. We're in the Sabbath, by the way. As a judge of the people is himself, so are his offices, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. As the judge of the people himself, so are his offices. So if he's a righteous man, his offices are going to be righteous. And he's going to get rid of the ones that are not righteous. If, if he's wicked, his offices are going to be wicked. <clears throat> And what man of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein, that dwell the people. So he says, uh, uh, what it, uh, he says, hell, oh, you're going to burn in hell forever, which, which they never taught that. That's re relatively new. Four or five, five years ago, they wasn't teaching that. Leviticus 25, verse 35. I'm going back to the split that all those people fell off. And then there was a new, they, it was built back up again with Bishop Nathaniel. And, um, They wanted to kill this guy. They, or the brother, or one guy had a dream that everybody, everybody, there was he had a dream that somebody said, uh, "Everybody want to kill you," and they all had bats with, you know, nails stuck through it. They, they, they wanted to do what you would do. They would wanted to make you in a, a pinata. And there was one guy that had a dream. The scriptures say dreams lift up fools. The scriptures also say dreams come in the multitude of business. So for this, for what this one guy said, you said, I had to get out of there. So you abandoned all, however many people that was following you, if they were sincere. So they, they didn't have no shepherd, so the sheep was scattered. It says, and if, if thy brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with thee, then thou shalt relieve him. Yeah, that though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with thee. So this guy calls us bums. He said, oh, and he lies on this. He said that we get women and we swap women. 
I'm gonna be swapping the woman. We don't get with no woman. You know. Oh, we're gonna swap women. That's a damn lie. And these and these fo- these blind followers believe it. Then then he said they they have they grape six year old girls. Which when do we ever say that? That we can get litigations with you, man. Because you're being evil. You're being evil and wicked. And you got up on that horse. You couldn't, if we was a part of that thing, I said, I'm going to come up on that. I said, you ain't coming on no motherfucking horse. The fuck is this, bro? What, you the deliverer now? What, you, you Howard Shy? Shoot. I remember when we had the school at 126, we had the uh, council, and I cursed the whole council out. And they and they said, why are you always getting on this? I said, cause this this I said this 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 is a wicked ass council. <laughs> I said I looked at them and they got say couldn't they couldn't talk. Uh, explain yourself. Explain explain yourself. Uh, explain yourself. So I would go to explain myself. No, no, explain yourself. Explain explain yourself. Okay, I looked at them all in the eyes. I said this is a wicked ass council, man. Then I told them I don't want to be on this goddamn council. And that's when they had it in for me, man. I said, we gotta get, we gotta do something about this guy. Then the punishment for me teaching that Cornelius was an Israelite, which he was, what you niggas now teach. The punishment is I gotta go come to the Sabbath class, and the Sabbath class was started at six in the morning. And that was a punishment. If they wanted to punish you, they make you go to the Sabbath class because you got to get your ass up five in the morning. And you know what I said? I said, ain't no big deal. I'll make it to the Sabbath. I ain't got no problem going to Sabbath class. Then they got mad. And then they just said, get y'all out the, out the school. You know? I said, nah, I ain't got no big deal with no Sabbath class. That's spiritual. I ain't no big deal with that. But that was a punishment. Them niggas back then was wicked as hell. And all them guys that fell off, every last one of them, because they watch our videos, Every last one of you guys that fell off, guess what? If you're still alive, you're going to take the micro C hip and you are going to get destroyed. Now, uh, uh, Bishop Nathaniel has a, you know, he can humble himself and tell them, tell his followers, look, I was wrong. GMS was 100% right. That's why they call himself GMS. And as soon as he says that, they'll listen to him because because he's a blind leader of the blind. Okay, so it says here. When Yahawashai therefore perceived that they would co- would come and take him by force to make him a king. He departed again into a mountain himself alone. So they said, nah, this man is a king. He the king. Which he which he was the king, but it wasn't it wasn't time for him to sit up on the throne because the Roman the Romans were in the power seat. And then Harrod was considered the king. The uh, uh, Harrod the Great. And the first guy people that that uh, you know, uh, persecuted him. Would would have the the uh, Her- Her- Herodian Herodian personal army, which is which is known as his men of war or Herod's men of war. So there would it wasn't the Romans when it was brought back after they after he got beat up and spat upon and kicked and making mockery of him, they sent him back to Pilate. And then it was the Romans that took him, Roman soldiers that took him and led him to the crucifixion. They were beating him up too. But the, but the ones that was really beating him down was uh, Herod's uh, personal army. So go back and read the, read the uh, book, read the uh, scriptures. So it was two armies, let's say, in 70 AD, and what we we weren't just fighting against the Roman mili- uh, armies; we were fighting against Herod's men of war, which are Edomites. 
you even had Edomites fighting on the side of Jake because they wanted to get into the cave. There was actual Edomites back there, Edomites that were doing the right thing, keeping the laws so they can get to the kingdom. And, and I'm sorry to, you know, I hate to, you know, disappoint your gods, bro, but you ain't, you're going you're gonna to be a slave in the kingdom. But you had Edomites back then 2,000 years ago, more than 2,000 years ago, that knew about the kingdom and that kept the laws, that kept the Sabbath, that went by the dietary menu because they wanted to be a part of this kingdom. And a lot of y'all don't know that. That's why you got us. Okay, let me see here. So they wanted to make him, they wanted to make him king. Uh, First Kings 1 verse 38, let's see what that says. So Zadok, this is Solomon, Solomon, Yahawashai was Solomon in the previous life. Reincarnation is biblical. Reincarnation is a biblical concept. So Zadok, the priest, which is the, the, high, the high priest during the time of uh, King David, and Nathan, the prophet, during the, t the time of the reign of King David, and ben Benaniah, he was one of the 37 mighty men, the son of Jezel, I the, uh, the and the Chariotites and the pa Paliathites went down and caused Solomon, which is Yahushai, to ride upon King David's mule and brought him to Gihon. And Zadok the priest took an horn of oil out of the tabernacle and anointed Solomon and they blew the trumpet and all the people said the most high save King Solomon that's what the, the queen of England God saved the queen God saved the king they got that from Israel because you know what these people and my, um, uh, Jordan said this uh, what's his name uh, what's his name uh Jordan, he's a Edomite looking Edomite that was going all into the Illuminati. He had died recently, a couple of years ago. He was up in age anyway. I, I, help me out, y'all. One of his names is Jordan. Anyway, he comes up on my, my feed. You know, my notifications. And all the people came up after him and people a pipe with pipes and rejoice with great joy so that the earth rant with the sound of them. And they, they were rock, you, you know, they were rocking, man. They were, they were doing their thing. But this is the main thing that I want is that he came in on a what road to ride and caused Solomon to ride upon King David's mule and brought him to Gihon. So, if you're on a mule, that that sign that symbolizes that you're humble. Because the job of the king is a, it's he's supposed to be the most humblest man in Israel. Not exalted. Scriptures say in Deuteronomy not to multiply wives and not to multiply horses. A king really supposed to be stoic. Like a good example is uh, uh, this this emperor um, Marcus Aurelius in the movie uh, Three Hundred. He was a stoic. He wasn't. He wasn't. In, he wasn't into that riches, man. And he, if you, if you put in quotes of uh, Marcus Aurelius, you li read his quotes, and you say this guy's a Jake. And he was one of the good, the five one of five good emperors because they were jakes 
Jake took the whole kingdom over. He took they took they took the Roman Empire from from Esau. First, the first uh, the first ruler to sit down, Caesar, or emperor, was uh, uh, I say this all the time was Nerva. He came in in, in uh, uh, what is it uh, ninety six A D. The last guy to rule w w among the Edomites was uh, was uh, Domitian. I always go into that. I say it so much I know about heart. So Solomon came in lowly on an ass, right? Zechariah 99. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, which rep the daughter of Zion represents the Israelites, male and female. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, represent Israel. Behold, the king cometh unto thee. He is just or righteous and having salvation. Oh, oh wait a minute. We got to start using this to prove this. This precept right here which we don't use proves that Solomon was uh Solomon came back as Yahweh shy he is just and having salvation lowly humble and riding upon an ass and upon a colt the f the fowl of an ass so you know you got asses donkeys so there were two there were it says upon an ass and upon a colt the the foal of an ass so there was two animals that was with him uh solomon come back to solomon but this is solid well, i'm sorry this is solomon right here this is solomon right here Let me read the 10th verse. And I will cut off the chariots from Ephraim and uh, uh, the horse from Jerusalem, meaning the most I'm going to take our power. And the battle battle bow shall be cut off our power and strength, and he shall speak peace unto the heathen and the heathen of Israelites, and his dominion shall be from sea even to sea and from the river even to the ends of the earth. Ooh, even to the ends of the earth. What's the ends of the earth? The whole earth. So did Solomon rule the whole earth? Nope. But he's gonna rule the whole earth when he comes back as Yahweh Shai the second the second time. Deliverance of Judah and Ephraim, as for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant. I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. Turn you, uh, hey, oh, this brings it up to date. Turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. We've been prisoners of hope for, for years. So, so now this jumps up into time. This jumps this jumps to our time. This is when we get delivered by the ships. What does it say against thy what does it say against thy sons? I'm sorry. Against thy sons, O Greeks. And when I have bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim. Now it's said up here that Ephraim gonna lose their power, right? It says, and I will cut off the chariots from Ephraim. The power of Ephraim and the, and the horse or the power from Jerusalem, which is the kingdom of Judah, and the battle bow shall be cut off from Judah and Ephraim. So now we're in a time of hope, hoping that the Lord hurry up and get us. 
the disciples said that 2,000 years ago, are you going to restore the kingdom at this time? You know, no, no. Paul said there must be a falling away first. It says, it says now, and this, this is now, this is getting ready to happen. When I have bent Judah for me, filled the bowl with Ephraim. What does that mean? Isaiah 11, 11, 11, when the, when the, the two kingdoms come together. See, if, if Judah just come together, you had the so-called Black Panthers, Black Muslims, all these different groups, and um, their thing was just about Black people, American Black people. No. The, the two kingdoms got to come together. When, when Ephraim and Judah come together, then that's, when, that's what Esau is afraid of. That's what the elite are afraid of. And then we're going to be delivered by the angels. There's a, let me see if I can find this. I believe it's in Hosea. Hosea 1. Because we're going to be delivered by divine intervention. Bear me for a minute. I believe I found it. Hosea 1 verse 7, but I will have mercy upon the house of Judah and and will save them by Yahweh, their power, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. So if you go to the precept of this, it's, it's talking about it's going to be a spiritual deliverance. It's going to be, the ships are going to come down. Not going to be where the Most High going to give us the power. We're going to fight them with swords or guns or whatever. It's going to be the, 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 the Lord and the angels coming down. If you go to, uh, it should tell you that even in the, um, the, the uh, commentary. I don't want that. Let me do this. Yeah, I put in Kamala. And what came up? Right, one of the words for Kamala, which added up to this in the Greek, uh, Gemetria, Iso, this, whatever, cal uh, calculator. It says badly governed. That's what it names as to badly govern. Kamala equals badly govern. All you gotta do is type in Kamala. And then it'll it'll be it'll it'll it'll, it'll when you submit, it'll be this. It means badly governed. Okay, so now where am I? Um Where did I say I was going to go? Oh, I, I'm sorry. The uh, Damn, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, right here. Bible Hub. Let's see what they say.
but I will have mercy upon the entire house of Judah. Council Judah the same later by the um, by the Lord power. Not by bow, Judah then was in danger of trusting in equipment as Isaiah afterwards described it as doing. And yet, if Israel, all the natural strength, natural strength, could not resist the Assyrian attack, it was clear that the weaker kingdom could only do so by supernatural aid. Supernatural aid. So that's what that's what that means. Hosea one and seven, he's gonna bring Judah and ben, Judah, and and Israel, the two kings back together, and the Most High is gonna save them through a uh, supernatural um, means. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah and will save them of the Lord their power, and I will. Not have, and I will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. So how is he going to save them? Through the Spirit. The Lord is coming back. I will not meet thee as a man, Isaiah 47. And this is this happened with, uh, they mentioned Assyria, right? Assyrians. Did not the angel of the Lord kill 185,000 of them Isaiah 31 and 8 let's see what that says uh, then shall they serve the fall with the sword not of uh, the mighty men and of the sword not of the me me mean men shall devour him but he shall flee from the sword and his young men shall be discomfited meaning there's going to be a, a spiritual intervention battle sheet battle should be equipment should be equipment of war uh isaiah 37 33 let's see what that says therefore uh, thus saith the lord concerning the king of assyria he shall not come come into this city nor shoot an arrow there nor come before it with shields nor cast a bank against it Psalm, what was Psalm 68? Uh, let me see. Okay, a uh, sp supernatural intervention, Sodom and Gomorrah, then Yahweh rain on Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven. Uh, Exodus 6, verse 3. See what that says. And I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob by the name of the power almighty. Because the word power, God almighty, is Alishadya, which means demon, demon God. Satan's not the chief demon, the most high is the chief demon. Because he can get he can get nasty if he wants to. He can get con on a nigga quick. I said, cuz said that, old cuz said that. So now, let's come on back. This is long, but 